Hi, good morning. This is Sue. Good morning, Sue Smith. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Really good, thank you. Sue Smith, the Butterball Turkey Talk Line expert. How long have you been talking turkey, Sue? I've been talking turkey 25 years, and the Butterball Turkey Talk Line has been open for 42 Wow, so 25 for you, 40, whose idea was this? Like, who was sitting around the boardroom or research and development going, you know what we need? We need a turkey talk line. How? Did, whose idea was this? Exactly, and it's a fabulous idea. It started with six individuals just sitting around a table, answering some phone calls, because they realized there wasn't any help out there to help these holiday cooks prepare their turkey. So it's evolved from just six women to we have over 50 men and women here, all with a food background. And it's a great job. I feel like Netflix needs to do like a documentary on the start of the Turkey Talk line. I think it would be fascinating. It would be really fun. It would be great. And we can tell them all about how to prepare their turkey um, and how to get that golden brown turkey right on that table. Yes. Well, let's start with the thing that kind of troubles everybody, even to this day. Once and for all, what's the best way to thaw that bird out? It's our number one question year after year. So if you have time, go ahead and just put it in the refrigerator. Keep it in the original wrapper. Put it on a tray or a pan of some sort in the bottom of your refrigerator, and then let it be. It takes one day, so one full 24-hour day, for every four pounds of turkey. So it takes longer than we anticipate. So, for example, a 16-pound turkey, you're looking at a good four to five days to thaw. Speaking of the size of the turkey, uh, I pride myself on trying to find the largest bird I can. It's just it's a thing for me. I love the leftovers. And years past... I think I tipped the scales one year at 31 pounds, unstuffed. Uh, But I've had trouble finding big birds lately. Is the turkey industry growing smaller birds, or is it just my imagination? No, there's size turkeys out there for every size, for everyone that wants it this year. And if you know what size you want, go out and get it early. Make sure you have the space in your freezer to store it, but also make sure you have that space in your refrigerator when it comes time to thaw. Girl, I got a chest freezer just for this occasion because I'm nuts about trying to find this big bird. So don't you worry about space. I got space. All right. Now, to the to the dinner. The average size of guests, we're looking at like nine. Pre-pandemic numbers, people want to get together and forge new relationships and friendships. You and the Turkey Talk Line really can't do anything about the interpersonal relationships, but help reduce the stress for the host or hostess. How can we do that as far as taking the stress down for preparing the meal? Well, one big thing, if you're hosting this big gathering, like you said, they're, they're going big this year with their gatherings again, which is wonderful. Assign everyone to bring their own dish. It takes some stress off the host. It allows those guests to contribute to a meal. And it allows them to give a little, bring their tradition in a little bit um, when they're sitting around the table. So it's great. That's really and what's great about Butterball this year is, Kevin, you mentioned, you know, we're all about food, but we have partnered with Bumble for Friends. It's that friend-finding app, because maybe you don't have someone this year to be with. You've relocated, or you can't afford to go home to your family and friends. So it's been a great collaboration to bring the friendships together and to bring the meal together for Thanksgiving. That's really genius, because uh, every year my wife and I like to invite uh, one of my coworkers over, and it's, it's, a, it's a thing. It has been for years, but maybe we'll go out of our comfort zone and go to Bumble for Friends and just invite a stranger. And who knows? It could be a great yeah. friend. It, it really is. It's all about bringing people together. You can go to findyourtable2023.com. There's great resources there. There's going to be some good um, virtual sessions coming up in the next few weeks you can see as well. All right. Now a couple of questions specifically for you, Sue Smith. Uh, think back. Okay. Think back to many of your past Thanksgivings. What, in your memory, was one of the best turkeys you had ever eaten? Well, it was definitely a butterball, of course. Certainly. But I'm a traditionalist. I use the 325-degree conventional oven, and it's really easy. You're going to brush it with vegetable oil, or you can spray it with cooking spray, and that's what gives it that nice golden brown color. You're going to put it on a flat rack of some sort, shallow open pan, and you're going to put it in the oven, and you're going to let it be. About two-thirds of the way through, you can check it if it's starting to get that nice golden brown color. Grab some foil lightly tent the top of that turkey and let it finish until it reaches the proper temperature temperature of 170 in the breast and thigh. Oh, Lord, I can smell this phone call. That's how bad my mouth is watering right now. Just, oh, I cannot wait for Thanksgiving. One of my favorite times of year. The Butterball Turkey Talk Line, best way to find it, best way to reach you. Give us a call.
call here at one 800 butterball You can also text us at 844-877-3456. And lastly, butterball.com has so many great resources. You can reach us on our social channels through there as well, as well as your finder table, 2023.com. Finally, for you, other than the turkey, it is not Thanksgiving until blank is on the table. Well, we have a very unusual one. We always have yellow casserole on our table. You must be from the Midwest, girl. Oh, I sure am. Born and raised right here in (laughs) Chicago. (laughs) But it's very traditional. You know, we had that growing up. And it's the same thing with, like, the stuffing. Stuff your turkey or some stuff. And that's all based pretty much on tradition. So stuffing is always going to be on our table. It's going to be on the side dish. But my husband loves it stuffed. So we alternate years, and we make sure that stuffing reaches 165 degrees. Excellent. And yeah, you got to have that jello mold ready to go this time of year. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Sue Smith from the Butterball Turkey Talk Line. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for what you do to help uh, reduce the stress and help people out who just really have no idea where to start when it comes to preparing what is going to be one of the most special meals of the year. So thanks so much for your time. Oh, it's my pleasure. And we look forward to speaking to all of your listeners.